Starting fresh in a new city, let alone a new country, can be overwhelming. But here in Alexandra Park, this community center is helping newcomers get settled by putting them on a path for entrepreneurial success. Here at Scadding Court Community Center, independent businesses run by local women and immigrant entrepreneurs are thriving. Executive Director Herman Ellis Jr. says Scadding's success is due to its unique structure. Scadding is one of only 10 centers that are part of the City of Toronto's Association of Community Centers, or AOCs. These AOCs have full autonomy to develop programming by their community for their community. In terms of AOCs, Association of Community Centers, um, as, as a group, we work together to ensure that our community centers um, behave in a way where um, it's conducive to our community and welcoming to our community and that our community continues to guide and, and provide the thrust for that particular organization. Community-driven programs like the Newcomer Entrepreneurship Hub offer workshops on how to launch a business in a Canadian market. Since the hub's launch in 2018, Scatting has helped around 350 newcomers. Kara Benjamin Pace is the co-founder of Newcomer Kitchen. She says partnering with Scatting has helped refugee women from her organization learn valuable entrepreneurship skills, from basics like using a computer to creating graphic designs and writing marketing copy. Everybody has dreams, and often newcomers come with the dream of starting a food business. They want to share their unique culture, their unique cuisine, uh, but there are also big risks. And one of the things that newcomers really can't afford is to take a lot of risks. And so I think the kinds of emerging programming uh, that, that is starting to uh, blend training with social enterprise is it allows for that experience uh, without risk. That's exactly why Hussam Hurwash decided to launch his restaurant business here in 2019. Chef Hurwash is part of Scatting's Market 707, a group of shipping containers turned rental units for small businesses. After fleeing the Syrian civil war, Hurwash came to Toronto in 2018, where he started working as an Uber driver. So the combination of low rent costs and minimal startup capital appealed to him. The initial cost, the capital required at the beginning, it's simply less. You know what I mean? So it's one of the pros for the newcomer to start a business here to avoid the huge capital, let's say, if you're going to open a big shop, especially when you are as a newcomer, you have to learn about the city, where are the best places. So that's why I chose here as a starting point. Scatting Court became an AOC in 1975. Since then, it's consistently tripled the funds it receives from the city to develop community-led initiatives. Ellis Jr. says Alexandra Park's tremendous need is what drives Scatting's success. Entrepreneurship has always been and, and has looked much differently. Um, and and, and when, you, when you say that word, you think of a certain, you know, so when um, newcomers and, and, and women and people that are marginalized step, in, step into that spectrum and step into that, that environment and um, try and become successful, it's very, very exciting. Signing off, I'm Anita Lee of The Green Line reporting with City News.